Hi everyone, I'm Chang Jian Li. Today, I will present our work Free to Cat, passing freehand drawing into Cat Command. It's a collaborative work with Hao Pan, Adrian Boso, and Eloy Mitchell. Free to Cat targets cat modeling for novices. Now let's see how it works. When it comes to cat modeling, there are several popular methods. The most traditional one is to use professional software. For example, given the target shape, we can model it using SolidWorks. As we can see here, Modelers keep rotating, translating the shape, and selecting different commands. After tedious operation, the middle bended cylinder is built first, and the two rectangular parts in each end are modeled in the following. However, there are major, two major challenges to use professional software, especially for novices. The first challenge is strategic knowledge. It says, before the modeling process, users must mentally decompose the desired shape into smaller parts that can be created easily. Complex shape decomposition is much harder and different decomposition scheme matters in modeling workflow. Also, during the modeling process, users must frequently rotate, translate, or scale the shape to do spatial reasoning. For example, to place the orthogonal plane of the ruling curve. The second challenge is the command knowledge, which says users must remember all the complex menus and commands provided by specific software which calls for certain amount of practice. Similar challenges are observed in the SOTA sketch-based modeling software. For example, in our previous sketch to cat or Shapers 3D, even though intuitive sketches are used, both methods create 3D shapes step-by-step. Step. Thus, the pre-decomposition and spatial reasoning, for example, translation rotation are required as well. We want to reduce the burden of modeling by addressing the two challenges together. So we propose free to cat The goal is to allow users to draw the desired shape with freehand strokes without shape decomposition. And our algorithm passes the drawing sequence into the command sequence, which when executed, produces the 3D shape recreating the input stroke. To be clear, in this work, we use a simplified CAD language, which supports positive and negative extrusion with n-gons and circular base curves. The sketch extrusion command is also favored by existing dataset, where complex shapes are obtained. So how to achieve our goal? Let me introduce our key idea. As we said, we allow users to input the stroke sequence representing the shape. Here, the color coding indicates the drawing order from red to yellow. If users do not mentally decompose the shape, our algorithm must take this drop. So we are wondering if there is a grouper that can decompose the stroke into geometric parts. And for each part, if there is a regressor to find the correct cat commands, then finally, we will get the desired cat shape reproducing the input. Basically, the grouper and the regressor are the two main components of our algorithm. Now, let's go into detail starting from the grouper. Stroke grouping is a challenging task. The most related task is semantic segmentation. If we compare with them, there are several differences. First, in semantic segmentation, we usually know the number of parts, but in our grouping, we do not know how many groups are drawn. Second, the locally grouped strokes in segmentation have strong semantic meaning, such as legs, head, body, etc. However, in our grouping task, we care more about the geometric relationship, such as orthogonal and parallel. Third, our input is perspective drawing that conveys the 3D information, while the input for semantic segmentation is frontal or side view cartoon strokes. Thus, facing all these new challenges, we resort to the powerful transformer because it's excellent to handle sequence to sequence translation problem. And the attention mechanism can help us capture the long range geometric relationship between strokes. For example, the eight orthogonal corners form the green group. In case someone is not familiar with transformer, it's firstly invented for language translation. For example, given the Chinese word, it predicts the corresponding sequence of English word. Specifically, in step three, we have output IMA. Then in step four, given the word A, transformer will produce student. And iteratively in step five, given the word student, it will produce the special end token to stop the translation. That's how it works. Motivated by this observation, a naive solution is to cast our problem as a classification problem. Specifically, given the previous labels, 
transformer predicts the stroke label for each stroke. For this case, there are two groups and the current stroke belongs to the second group. After we obtain all the stroke labels, we can assemble the groups of strokes. However, this solution requires that the number of groups is fixed, right? It's not achievable. We then propose our new grouping transformer and cast our problem at the selection task. Basically, given the input, the encoder is pretty much similar as the translation encoder. However, inspired by the group uh, pointer network, the decoder produces a group code each time, and we use dot product to select strokes belonging to the current group. For example, suppose given the input, we have obtained the first group in step one. In step two, given the previous group, we use group code to select strokes belonging to the current group. And iteratively, we will reach the end token to stop. However, what's the group order? In this case, we first find the outer box group and then find the subtracted polyhedron group. But an alternative order is to simply exchange the two. From the perspective of ship reconstruction, the first order seems more feasible because the box can help anchor the subtracted part. So what's the correct order? Actually, in our problem setting, the stroke drawing order provides group order cues. For example, although not all strokes, some of the strokes in the box group are drawn before the strokes in the polyhedron group. We thus simply take this order as our group order. Is it always true? What's the drawing strategy of novices to express cat shapes? To this end, we have conducted a payload study on drawing order, where we ask users to draw the feature edit of the given shape. We invited eight users in this study. Here, the color coding indicates the drawing order from red to yellow. There are several patterns, and let's look into details of two typical examples. For U1, we clearly see that he or she draws from left to right, while U5 draws part by part. Although there are several drawing orders, overall, all users draw cross to find. Based on the study, we thus made a weak order assumption that users draw cross to find, and we take the order of strokes as our group order. Suppose we draw from left to right, and there are two groups. If the first stroke of group A is drawn before the first stroke of group B, then group A should be predicted before group B, and vice versa. Till now, we have solved the order issue. Everything is fine for the group. Now let's move to the regressor. The main task is to find the sketch extrusion parameters with context guidance. We design it in this way. Given the predict group and the geometric context, we employ a simple unit structure as in our previous sketch to cat work to predict the base curve and base face maps. Having these two maps, we do geometric fitting and reasoning to produce the parameters. For this example, the box and polyhedron shapes are successfully obtained. However, we do one more step of fitting, that is, for each reconstructed shape, we detect all the feature edges marked as orange here. Since we are more confident about the reconstruction, we use those feature edges to double check the grouping result so as to correct errors. Next, I will tell you why we do this step. All right, so far so good. I have introduced the two major modules of our method, but how to train and test the aforementioned neural networks, especially the transformer, let me introduce now. Teacher forcing is a common training technique for transformer. It means using ground truth as guidance. For example, given the image, we want to predict the caption to people reading a book. If we do not use ground truth information, the predicted words will serve as the decoder input for next step. The problem here is that without ground truth guidance, bird is predicted instead of people, and as a consequence, flying is predicted instead of reading. The prediction error will accumulate, and eventually nothing is learned. Instead, if we use ground truth information, even though birth is predicted, the teacher forces people as the input for the next iteration. Gradually, the transformer learns to do correct prediction. But the problem here is that GT data is not available at the testing time, which causes the teacher forcing gap. Several work try to solve this problem, such as mixing the GT and prediction with two forward passes. However, the unique geometry setting of our problem naturally solved this challenge by connecting the grouper and the regressor. 
And the magic part is exactly the geometric correction. It works in this way. At testing time, given the current predicted group, we immediately reconstruct the geometry and perform grouping correction to produce the corrected group, which will then serve as the decoder input for the next step. This novel solution significantly reduces the gap between transformer training and testing. We believe that neural network is not fully trustable. Such geometric fitting and correction step is practical and complementary module, which can be used in other domains. Now, let's go through one example to know the whole pipeline. Given the input, we can get the draw code. And in time step one, from a star token, the transformer decoder produces a group code. And we use this code to do dot product selection to select strokes in the current group. Along with the geometry context, we go through the unit to produce the base phase and base edge maps. Having these maps, we do geometry fitting and grouping to get the geometry and the corrected group. The new geometry will serve as context for next time step. In time step two, the corrected group will serve as input to, to the transformer decoder and it will produce the new group code. And similarly, we use dot product to select strokes belonging to the current group. And uh, the predict group and the geometry context go through the unit, get the required maps, and we do geometry fitting and grouping to get the new geometry. The new geometry will serve as the context in next type step. And in time step three, we repeat the whole process and to the, the transformer decoder will produce the new group code and it, it finally it will find no strokes in the current group and then we reach the end. Finally, we get the shape we want. To train our network, we have synthesized around 190,000 training data. There are some examples. For data generation details, please refer to the paper. We have also developed a prototyping system by incorporating all the key ingredients. Here, let's see a live demo. Users draw strokes by referencing the isometric grids, which provide an accurate reference as well as relatable distance guides. By default, we enable line smoothing and straight line to any user drawn stroke. Here, the user draws multiple parts in an interleaved fashion. After drawing, the user runs free to cat. The system produces the shape within two seconds. Our system also supports the protocol command editing. Users can choose the desired command by changing the index. The selection is also highlighted by a group of both strokes corresponding to the selected command. For example, users can edit the radius of the cylinder base by directly changing the value. The shape as well as the respective cat commands get immediately updated. Similarly, users can tune the offset distance Users can rotate to arbitrary views to continue drawing. Further, user can click on the desired face to continue, and our system can automatically generate the four typical recorded views to let user choose from. Once users choose the view, they can continue drawing. The shape is updated immediately. After two drawing steps, users can get the final high-quality cat shape produced by five cat commands. We have also modeled many cat shapes that consist of very number of steps. See the plug and the pen. And here are more results. To demonstrate the main algorithm, even though we support multi-view modeling, we did not use it in those results. For the first time, we have evaluated a sketch-based modeling based on an existing dataset. For example, given a Fourier model, is constructed with two sketch extrusion steps. We then detect all the feature edges and pass them to our algorithm. We can produce a quite similar shape but with different modeling sequence. For some models, both Fury and ours use the same modeling sequence, while we might miss some small details for some other cases. More qualitative and quantitative evaluations, please refer to the paper. Of course, there are several limitations of our method. First, we do not support many other operations, such as bevel, taper, and sweep. The main challenges come from the operator recognition and parameter fitting. Second, we now only support strokes specific for our interface instead of common concept sketches in product design. The generalization is constrained by many factors, for example, the large amount of construction lines, the oversketched and overshoot strokes. 
we would like to tackle concept sketch in the future. To conclude, we have proposed free to cat that passes an older sequence of pen strokes into a sequence of cat commands, which when executed, recreates the input sketch. We have casted our problem into a grouping task and the geometric correction step significantly improved the accuracy. The code and data are available now. Please feel free to try it. Thanks for your listening. I'm happy to take questions.